Corruption continues unabated despite efforts by the United Nations, various institutions, NGOs, specialized units, and international organizations to eliminate it. There's a growing evidence that corruption has re resulted in the ineffective use of state resources aimed at providing essential services. Corruption in the public sector has greater consequences for the majority of citizens and particularly the poor. To speak to us about what role state security can play in uprooting corruption in the country. We're joined by the head of dom the domestic branch of the State Security Agency, Advocate Matlodi Morf. Advocate, good evening and thank you so much for your time tonight. Good evening and uh, good evening to your viewers. Thank you. Let's just begin then. I mean, I, mean I, I ask this question given the latest that we've either been hearing from the Zondo Commission, the reports we've been seeing. Does the State Security Agency understand its mandate? Yes, uh, the state security understands its mandate and so is everybody else in any department in government. Uh, we all understand our mandate. I think the problem arises when people are supposed to implement that mandate, which is so simple and clear, decide to do something else. Mm. Um, but otherwise, majority of uh, my colleagues in SSA do understand our mandate and they work within uh, the mandate as prescribed by the law. Uh, you will have, however, uh, some rotten apples, uh, I which is part of life sometimes, a uh, whole dent the image of the institution and dent it so much so much that out there people might even doubt whether uh, uh, the state security has to exist or not. But from where I sit, um, women and men that I work with now, and we have been there even before I came, uh, are so professional. And I think uh, we should also give thanks to the new sixth administration uh, for allowing us and every other person to do his or a job and do his or a job professionally. And talking about doing that job, but at the same time, one cannot ignore then that the state security agency, as we look on from outside, appears to be a shadow of itself. What role then does an institution like this one play in the fight against corruption if this very institution, when you look at the high-level review uh, panel report, this institution was used to fight factional battles. Well, it's good that you are putting it in the past tense. Uh, presently, now, um, SSA is part of the security cluster, part of the criminal justice system, and we are working very well with our sister uh, departments uh, and results are there for everybody to see. What happened in the past, to be honest, uh, is a disgrace up until now. From where I sit, um, I also do not understand uh, the agency at any given time would have had uh, DGs, you know, um, uh, at most two DGs. Uh, now three DGs. Um, now, in any company, uh, the accounting officers owe fiduciary duties to their company. In this instance, in any department, accounting officers are there to ensure that uh, nothing goes through the cracks. How it happened in the past, when I was not there, I do not understand. But I would imagine that uh, deliberately people chose to steal money. Um, but I think it is important for us South Africans to appreciate the fact that all these things are being ventilated in the public forum, uh, the, 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 the commission, uh, and uh, our DCJ is seized with all these matters. He's going to sift through all these voluminous uh, documentations and prepare a report for us uh, and perhaps
Tarej, preempting it sideways is not the best thing to do. Mm. But of course, uh, as he had said himself, that where uh, state agencies and departments uh, see what is transpiring there and there is uh, any criminality taking place from what is transpiring at the commission. Uh, uh, departments seized with those mandates mustn't sit back and say we're waiting for the commission to complete its work. But we can do our job. But can members of the public trust? Um, you know, I know you say that the, the, there is some movement. Those that are there understand the mandate and what they are doing. Can members of the public then trust? given what they're hearing in the Zondo Commission, given the apparent weakening of this particular institution, because we cannot look at the present without looking at the past, because it, it does look like the, the current administration inherited a fractured um, institution that needs to repair itself before it can find itself fulfilling its mandate and also fighting corruption in its fullest form. I agree with you. Uh, the sixth administration uh, inherited a fractured uh, uh, system, uh, but there's no way in which you can say we must sit back and fix. We fix whilst we are working. Uh, and I'm saying this because I think as, as we speak now, uh, at the State Security Agency, the SSA, we have almost around six or seven criminal cases which we have opened against our own members. And all those cases, uh, sources are not from without. Uh, sources who come up are own members who feel that it's high time that the agency does its work well. So I think there's got to be that political will and uh, administratively, uh, the heads of the different departments within the agency, like I'm the head of the, the domestic branch, I must make, make it a point that uh, no cent gets out without me knowing. Mm -hmm. Now, if others did in the past, uh, it was a factor on their side, but we're doing our best and it's public knowledge. Uh, the community knows that uh, we currently have two criminal cases running of our own members. And I'm sure the community, and I can safely tell the community that they should expect more. And talking about expecting more, I know that uh, last month the minister spoke about appointing a firm that was to look at, um, that was to conduct a forensic investigation into some of the allegations that we are hearing come out of the Zondo Commission. That firm has since pulled out. Certainly that would then hamper some of these investigations. But we're hearing allegations. There were witnesses that came forward to speak about how allegedly they may have given money to uh, the former minister, uh, David Matlobo. Could we see an investigation ensue towards his direction? As I say, uh, the agency is in a process of reconstructing itself and maybe renewing itself, the general catchphrase now. Uh, the cases, criminal cases that I'm talking about, uh, bear testimony to that. Uh, we are not blind to what is happening at uh, the commission, but equally, we have our own work, internal work to do, because we are best seized with what is happening in the agency. And um, as my colleagues, uh, they themselves work hard and uh, dig deep where they come up with any evidentiary proof of malfeasance to me. I don't send anyone as the head of the domestic branch. I'm a constant visitor with some of my senior officials uh, at our local police station. We open up criminal cases. Uh, we work very well with our sister organizations, the police, the Hawks, SIU, NPA, most of these uh, 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 criminal cases that we have opened are NPA prosecutor led, so that by the time they are ripe uh, for prosecution, all evidence is, is, is basically gathered. And from where I sit, I am sure that we are going to be getting criminal convictions. 
I am in engagements with uh, the head of the SIU Advocate Mativi that we also, if, if, if people get convicted, that's not good enough. So we I'll also have to get the money back. Mm -hmm. The money must come back. Mm -hmm. So we are engaging with SIU uh, for civil recovery. Uh, and SIU does a very good job in that area. So from what I'm hearing you say then is that the evidence of witnesses like a Frank, like a Stephen, is not going to go um, unnoticed or unprobed and we might see uh, some of the people they've mentioned find their way to a court to answer some cases. Uh, what I'm saying to you is that uh, um, I miss what is happening at the commission. As the agency, we have been hard at work opening criminal cases against our own members. Mm. Uh, we have done that, uh, the better part of last year, we have been opening cases. Uh, and uh, no one is going to escape the net for as long as we, as the agency, get to a stage where we find any evidentiary proof uh, that uh, Bongi has stolen money, uh, and there is this evidence. The good thing is that these are internal members, and what is good about it is that they know where to get this document, this, these documents. So even if people had gone to the commission, perhaps uh, factionally so, and I'm just saying as a, hypothetically, it does not mean that by going to the commission, then you are exonerated from being uh, criminally charged if, in fact, uh, you had taken money. Um, what, what we are interested in is to recover taxpayers' money, uh, who it landed to. Uh, there, is, there is a presumption in law which will say uh, he who was last seen with Bongi, if Bongi is dead, is presumed to have killed Bongi. I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm, I have not stolen any money, so <laughs> <laughs> you cannot look towards my direction. But Advocate Morpa, let's talk then about the recommendations of this high-level review panel report. I mean, that is a, a voluminous uh, document yeah. um, that really looks at the state security agency, and this was in 2018. One of the recommendations then was that there needs to be an overarching overhaul of the intelligence. Has that happened and have some of those other recommendations, I mean that we're even looking at how this institution needs to be rebuilt in order to make sure that some of those controls um, can then be put back in place because it looked like they had also collapsed and also other people had started using it to fight their own factional battles. Yeah, well the, the report the recommendations are work in progress. Uh, I've just given you one example. The, the report says those who have stolen money should be charged criminally. And I've already told you that we have more or less around six or seven criminal cases open. Two of those cases are already before our, our courts. Mm. Um, and uh, the recommendations uh, of the report also said that uh, the agency has got to be de-established uh, to revert back to what it was more or less the same. Instead of having a triad of three DGs, there should be two DGs, one domestic branch, the other one foreign branch. Uh, we are working at uh, achieving that process. Uh, it's, it's not just a question of saying we're doing it today, tomorrow things must change. Mm -hmm. There are processes to be followed. but. We are, in fact, uh, using that report as our guideline as we work to try and make sure that we tick the boxes as we go along. Uh, I must be honest, it's not as fast as one would have loved, uh, but it's work in progress. As a final question, very briefly, uh, countries like Russia and China view corruption as a national threat. Could we move to that direction as South Africa? Corruption by any stretch of imagination is a national threat because one cent stolen, whether in the public space or in the corporate space, uh, the fiscal gets affected because taxes don't get uh, collected. 
So it is important for all of us uh, in the public sp space and corporate space and citizens as a whole uh, to report corruption. There are a whole lot of uh, uh, toll-free numbers where people can report corruption. Now, the biggest people who can, uh, the, biggest, the biggest agencies who can assist us in rooting out corruption are citizens themselves because corruption happens also. Uh, in the public space, in the townships, everywhere else. Ndede Mofe, thank you so much for your time. Uh, certainly do appreciate it. That was Advocate Matlodi Mofe uh, from the State Security Agency.